And let's get started. Welcome Team Inspire. This is our second call of the year and the first call on a Tuesday. Um, and it's kind of a cool day because yesterday we started the challenge. So who's in, who's in 80 day obsession right now? Just give me like a show of hands. A lot of you guys, yeah. And then how many of you, everybody else, I think who's on here is participating in the 21 day, if you're not in 80 day. Everybody is in a challenge. Um, and what's really cool is, you know, I know we do these challenge groups all year, but I, I'm going to mute the lines. If you guys could make sure I've got some static coming in, I'm going to mute you guys. Um, right now, the energy is really high. It's, there's times that we do challenge groups and it's like all for our people, right? Um, but I'll tell you guys, in my business, when my business has done the best, it's when my challenge groups are actually about me and my people and not just my people. Um, it's just the way Beachbody works and it's actually what I've always loved about our company is that it encourages me to be better. And my business has done better when I take care of myself as much as I take care of other people. And this challenge, I feel that vibe from all my coaches. Like we are in this for ourselves, and we're in it to help our challengers. Um, but we've got our own goals, we're participating in a Beachbody led workout in the Beachbody nutrition program. And it makes it a lot easier to be, what's the vital behavior? Proof the products work. And if I were to look at all of the vital behaviors, more important than inviting, because I know sometimes inviting is the action and we focus on, the, on taking action. And I think that's very important, but the most important vital behavior, you guys, it is be, the, be proof the products work. Because you can invite all day long, you can do all of the work, but if you are not a believer of the products, you're fake, right? Like it, that's all it comes down to. So um, I love this time of year because we're all in it for ourselves as much as we are for everybody else. Um, how many of you guys have put it out there on your social media that you're doing this group and like launched it and talked about it? absolutely make sure you're doing that. It's not even just about selling the program. It's just sharing your journey. And it's so easy when you're doing it. Like how many of us tomorrow are going to wake up, especially if you're doing 80 day and you probably can't easily go to the bathroom. Like just squatting on the toilet is going to be painful, <laughs> right? <laughs> so these are the things that you can share because we're all experiencing it. Okay, so um, use your experience this entire time, whether it's 21 days, 80, it doesn't matter, and just share that experience with people. Okay, just a little bit of housekeeping for you guys. Um, next program dates, February 19th will be the next 21 day challenge if you're, if you're putting people in the group that I lead. Okay, if you're running your own groups, obviously you probably have different dates, but if you're out there and you're like, well, we just started a challenge, how am I gonna sell a challenge pack? Well, the next 21 day group will be on February 19th and I am going to do a launch two of 80 day, all right? I've watched some of what the top coaches are doing. Um, Coach Tulin is actually doing a restart every week. I'm not ready to take that on yet, so I'm gonna do one every month. But what that means is, think about it, we're talking about 80 day. I'm talking about 80 day more now than I was two months ago. And so you're going to have a lot of people wanting to know what this program is. And I don't want you guys to have to tell them they have to wait four months to join us. Okay. Um, you could always put them in a 21 day, but there's people who are going to want to do the 80. So we'll do a relaunch on February 19th. You're going to prep them, right? So give them that pre prep, and then you're going to put them in the exact same challenge tracker app. It's really not a big deal because they're just going to check off their workout on Shakeology they'll just be doing the workout on their day one. So that'll be our launch two of 80 day. All right. So February 19th, remember that date. Okay, who is part of a team for Team Cup? Who is not part of a team but wants to be part of a team? Who doesn't know what Team Cup is? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about all this. <laughs> okay. If you're not part of a team and you want to be part of a team, um, just post on Team Inspired and just say, like, hey, I want to be part of a team who wants to be part of Team Cup. Um, every single coach who's on this call, because obviously you care about your business, should be enrolled in Team Cup. Um, my very first Team Cup, I had no clue what I was getting into. I just heard it, and I'm like, okay, sure, I'll do it. The cool thing about Team Cup is it's the things you should be doing anyways. It's all based on points that you earn as a team of five people. 
And those points are based off success club. Okay. So it's all your success club points. All five of your points get tallied together and the teams that have the most points win all sorts of prizes. Okay. Don't look at team cup as just a way to win. I think winning is awesome. My first team cup probably is the one that's going to be the hardest for me to ever be, to be honest with you. We, it was probably beginner's luck. It was all a bunch of newbies and we crushed it. I've never been able to beat that team cup and that's okay. Cause I've had other wins out of team cups. Um, Adrian is a coach who's not on the call, but you guys probably know who she is. She was a discount coach, um, July, June, July. And I reached out to her and I said, Hey, do you want to be in team cup with me? And she's like, you know what? I kind of like the idea of it. it. Sounds like fun. I'll do it. And ever since then, she's been building her business. So team cup is a fun way to do the things that we're supposed to do anyways, hitting success club. And we're going to challenge ourselves to do a little more you and your team of five. All right. Most likely you're going to create like a Facebook pod or some way where you guys can communicate and motivate each other every day. Have fun with it. Kristen and I were in the group last time and Adrian was in charge of a music video every day. So every morning she sent us a music video to start our day. Um, and sometimes they were her doing Britney Spears. Do you remember that Kristen? It was so much fun. You guys, like we had such a blast in our team cup pod. And then every time one of us sold a challenge pack, we had to do a boomerang to the group. So make it fun. Find your five group of people. Um, enjoy it. And, you want to get as many success club points as possible. Translation, help as many people as possible. Join a team. All right. Um, every time there's team cup for me, I specifically reach out to some new folks that I haven't really worked with one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, I have already reached out to some of you guys to create our team. I don't want to reach out to the people on the team who are already blowing up success club because yeah, we might have some great numbers, but how is that going to make us stronger as a team? And that's really what my goal is with team cup. All right. Okay. Last piece of um, housekeeping before we get into our topic for today is summit. Who is going to summit? Okay. I'm telling you guys right now, you need to get to summit, like get the excuses out of your head. Um, I'm going to be like 38 weeks pregnant and no joke, Todd and I have already talked about me driving or him driving me. I don't know if it's going to happen. I am registered, but like, that's what it's going to take to stop me. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be like, there's a baby popping out, right? Like that's, that's how important summit is. And I still have not rolled it out. You guys have got to get to summit. It is one of the coolest experiences I've ever done. Um, it will change your business. You will learn so much, connect with so many people. You'll have so much fun. I mean, summit is not just for coaches that are crushing this business. You could be a discount coach and just go to have fun. It's an incredible experience. Um, find a way. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, like compared to other conferences and that kind of stuff I've seen, it really isn't that pricey. Start saving today, take your beach body checks, whatever you can do to slowly set money aside to pay for your ticket and then share a room or share a room with a few people, but get to summit. You don't want to miss summit. You guys, is that enough? Is that enough of like me convincing you? Natasha, Gretchen, you guys were at summit last year. Like real talk. I didn't prep you guys. <laughs> Tell me about summit. She, she did, it she was did so nervous. much fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. It also was nice to see see like where this business can really take you um just listening to the different coaches go up and um getting all their advice just about different things that you can do and then when you follow them actually watching them follow through with what they say they're doing um I actually started following a lot of people after that and I get a lot of my posts from them so um and I just was able to look at the business a whole nother way. And I got to bond with my girls. <laughs> yeah. Guys, this, this sometimes can be like, you know, you sitting on the couch sending invites. And sometimes we forget we're part of a billion dollar company um, that's a lot bigger than we are. And that's what Summit did for me. It's like, this is not just a bunch of us, like, you know, sending invites in our pajamas. Like, this is a big deal. Big things are happening with this company. Um, you're partnering with the right company and being at this event will really open up your eyes to that. And I hate, I'll add one other thing too. It's a lot of cool stuff to post about, right? You guys are always telling me, I don't know what to talk about. 
Summit is the coolest experience. Um, so you do want to get to Summit. And I want to see how many of you guys are just going to pull the trigger and register today. Like just do it, register, or this week. Get your registration. And when you're registered, you already registered, Natasha? Yeah, that's how it should be. Who else is already registered? Get registered this week um, and share your registration on our Team Inspired page. Don't, if you wait and you're like, I'm going to wait and see, like, let's see what happens. No way. You're not going to go to Summit. I'm going to tell you right now. It's not going to happen. You're going to find a, an excuse. And it's 145 right now still, I think. Yeah, it is. It is. Yep. Yeah. And it's on a discount right now. So don't push it. Don't wait. If you wait, you're going to find a reason not to go. Yeah. I assure you. And they always, they gave a discount right after you left Summit to mm -hmm. register for the next one, which is why I'm already registered because yeah. I literally did it. We got back in July and I, I registered in August, I think. Exactly. Because it was a discount. Yeah. Don't wait. It's a discount and it, the price will go up. So get it right now. Like if you didn't get it earlier, get it now. Um, but if you're waiting to see where your life is going to be, I got to figure out where my life's going to be in July. Your life will not make it it's not going to allow you to go to summit. Like that's just what I've noticed. But if you get your ticket and you put it on the calendar, then you will make your life fit around summit. It's kind of like when your best friend invites you to a wedding over the summer, you put it on the calendar. You don't wait to see what your, what your plans are going to be in July, right? You make it work. So get this on your calendar and then help the rest of your life fit around it. It is that important. All right. You guys ready to talk about Facebook? So um, we're really lucky to have an Instagram boot camp start in February. Um, Jen has a very good friend who is a beach body coach on a different team, but she is doing this training just for us. I didn't even realize it was just for Team Inspired until I saw her page go up and it is literally just for us. So you guys should feel really, really special. And thank you, Jen, for you know making this connection happen. Um, I had a chance to see her training and my mind is totally blown. I'm going to be participating myself because Instagram is not an area that I'm strong in. Um, so stay tuned for that. There's so much to learn. Today, I'm going to talk about Facebook. All right. So the training that I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to share screen. I have done parts of this before, but there have been changes. So if you've seen parts of this training, some of it has definitely changed. I will tell you guys this. Here are the updates on Facebook. As you know, a lot of people are sick of Facebook. They're sick of the ads. They're sick of people selling. They're sick of all the MLMs out there. If you look at their posts and it's like $39.99, get these wraps, right? Like it's annoying. I don't like it. People are getting annoyed. So Mark Zuckerberg, if you follow him on Facebook, he recently did an announcement and actually said, uh, Facebook is going back to the way it used to be. It's all going to be about relationships. It's going to be about you seeing posts from people that you really want to see. It means all of those paid advertisements. I'm sure Facebook still wants to make money, but they're not going to be littering our feed the same way. Now, what does that mean for people like me and you guys? There are coaches that spend $50,000 a year in advertising on Facebook. That's not me. My mm -hmm. budget last year was this much. I did not advert. I did not spend money on advertising last year. Okay. So what does it mean for us? It means the, the playing field is leveled, you guys. It's a good thing for us because how many of you guys want to get on this call with me and hear that you need to put money into an advertising budget right now? No. So the playing field is going to be leveled, but you've got to be smart about it. And you've got to really go into this thinking relationships and not sales. So I'm going to share a screen. We're going to talk a little bit more um, about Facebook. If you need to unmute and ask a question, go for it, okay, you guys? Just keep your line muted if you're not talking so we don't get static, please. All right, I'm going to share screen. Okay, so this was a presentation um, that I have done in the past. Like I said, I made some changes. I'm still getting a lot of static. Let me see. Okay, I think everybody's muted. And I didn't want to change the title because I really still believe this, that social media is like a business card or a magazine, okay? Um, 
I really believe that, you know, instead of handing people a business card, I connect with them on social media because I can build a relationship. It's stronger than a business card. And my, my Facebook profile reminds me of a magazine. Okay. So people can either choose to pick it up or they can choose to walk right past it because it's not their, it's not their vibe. And we want to attract our vibe, right? If you're Vogue, you're probably not going to be attracting the people that pick up, you know, a car magazine. Okay. Unless someone had dual interest, but think about it. There's magazines that cater to different kinds of people. So let's think about the purpose of each. A business card is to introduce you. It should be appealing and catchy, and it should be inviting. How many business cards do we get that look exactly the same? And I can find them all around my house. I toss them. I'll look at it. I, I say I'm going to save it. And then I, tr I trash it. So you want it to be appealing and catchy. It should have contact info. And it should be saved to reference back when needed, but a lot of us don't do that. A magazine's purpose is to educate. There's something we want to learn. It's to entertain, right? How many of you are guilty of picking up those magazines that it's like US Weekly and all you want to look at are all the, what is it, what they wore to the Oscars or something, right? That's not really not education. I'd say that's entertainment. To market maybe to market a product. And there's times we want to be marketed to. How many times have you picked up, say a magazine, like a cooking magazine or a glamour magazine because you wanna know the latest products of 2018? Those are not advertisements. I'm actually paying because I wanna read what's on the beauty list or I wanna read what's on the kitchen gadgets of 2018 list. It should inspire you to take action. And we know that there are ads in magazines, but we don't want an ad on every single page. And then we'll start talking about the secrets of what I call hidden ads. Those are the ads where you actually are enjoying reading the advertisement. You're being advertised to, but you are wanting it, right? So you're actually choosing to partake in the ad. So how is Facebook any different than that? What is the goal of your Facebook? It's to connect and stay connected to people keep connecting with people, to educate people, to entertain people. We're providing value and we're building relationships. We want a subscription, right? I don't want to be a one-time purchase of a magazine. And if a magazine does all the above, right? If it does all of that for you, do we mind that they also might be recommending products, AKA ads? No, I don't get mad when I see an ad in a, in a magazine. It also needs to be tasteful, right? Think about it. If I, if I pick up a magazine and ads are just splattered with pricing everywhere and go here to shop, I'm going to be annoyed, right? But most advertisements in magazines, what do they look like? They're really eye-catchy. If you think about like a glamour magazine, they're sexy. Think about like a cooking magazine. A lot of times you're drooling because something looks so tasty. So the ads are masked in a way where I actually do spend time looking at them. So from this book, Jab, 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 Right Hook, I am going to kind of take away some of the pieces. I highly recommend this book if you haven't read it, um, but I'll go over what the general gist of Jab, 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 Right Hook is. A jab is something funny or relatable. Another jab could be something educational. Another jab is anything else, maybe something that's your brand. Maybe your dog is part of your life or traveling or whatever other parts that make up your brand, right? So these are all of the posts that you do that build your audience and your tribe. And they're probably going to build people or bring people to you that are like you, that want to talk to you. And it might push other people away and you have to be okay with that. And when you do those posts that bring people to you that want to learn about you, the right hook would be the post where you give that final punch, okay? And it's that, I'm gonna give you guys some examples of what that means. So here's a couple of mine from last year, actually. Um, for example, I uh, posted this little meme and it said, I've had my name mispronounced so many times, I'm not totally sure I've been saying it correctly. And it was just like a funny little thing I said, but I cannot tell you how many people related to that post and were like, oh my God, me too. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Oh my gosh, I get this. Like it just was a post that a lot of people commented on right and it's not just comments that are important it's they related to it related relationship okay that's what's important about that post the next one was 
um, it was just some OCD behavior that I had exhibited. And it was that when I made these cookies, I had enough to have rows of, I think it was like four, 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 and the last row was only three. And I was like, oh my God, I only have one for the, you know, I'm missing one. And that OCD behavior was something that other people related to, right? It was like, oh my God, you need to start over. Like everyone's giving me their opinion and this is just awful. And it was pretty funny, right? But I was able to relate to a lot of people with just the fact that I have this OCD little habit of mine, okay, um, of like perfect rows when I'm baking. Totally stupid, but how many of us can relate to that? So those are jabs. Jabs are ways that you can relate to people in your market. Now, what's really important about this to notice is a lot of people that I talk to and build relationships with you guys are strangers. Some of you might be new enough to coaching where you're still working your warm market. The importance of jabs becomes even greater when you're working a cold market, okay? Because these people know nothing about me. So when you're working with a cold market, you really want to make sure you're doing very strong jabs. Um, to and it's very mundane stuff to relate to people uh, because they don't know you, right? And if people don't know you and they don't have anything to go by, then they're automatically going to assume and judge. So make sure you share who you are. And if it pushes people away, then it does, right? Like if you don't like my OCD behavior, I don't know, you don't like it, right? Um, but that's, that importance of a jab is even greater as you build your market. And I, we will talk about building your market in a bit as well. More jabs, um, this post I did about bug bites, um, and there's just examples in here. I don't need to go through them all, but that's really what jabs are. They're things that people can relate to you about, and they might have nothing to do with health and fitness, but they might have something to do with health and fitness. It's okay if a jab is health and fitness related. Right hook. When you've got a few jabs that are getting a lot of traction, right, do your right hook post because this is how Facebook works. Oh, Natasha just did a post and these people are all engaging in conversations with her. She just did another post. These people are all engaging with conversations with her. Your next post, Facebook is going to look at this and go, you know what? People like engaging with Natasha. I'm going to give this post a little bit more of an audience. Did you guys realize that about 85% of your people probably never even see your posts? And there's ways to increase that number so more people can see it. But most of your followers don't even see your posts. It's not that they don't like you. It's not that they ignore you. They probably are not even seeing your posts. So when you start getting a lot of traction on your posts, do that right hook. So what's a right hook? A right hook, the one on the left was about challenge groups and the one on the right was about coaching. Nowhere in there does it actually say Beachbody. Um, or 21 day fix, or here's the link to buy, or here's the dollar amount. Be careful of using buzzwords like free or even, I mean, and I haven't done this in the past, but from what I'm hearing, like in our posts coming up as Mark starts making changes to Facebook, be careful of using the word like purchase. Um, anything that sounds like you're trying to sell something. So we just want to make it relationship building, okay? So we need to make our posts more and more uh, here's me sharing and you can come to me, right? Okay, so how do you jab? You just be you. Just like random things about you that you think are not important, other people can relate to. Attract your audience and don't worry about the people who you attract away from you. Share value. People love to know what you're eating. Share tips, share resources. Create a page that people want to visit. It's like, you know what? I think I want, I'm thinking about adding more vegan food to my diet. I'm not vegan yet, but I want to add more. And I know Gretchen's always sharing these really good recipes. I'm going to start checking her page more because I think that'll be a really good place for me to start, right? So encourage people to want to visit your page. Interact with your audience. Now, here's a rule change. So here's a good one for you guys to know. In the past, if someone commented on your post, let's say, um, Jen commented on my post. I would want to start a brand new thread and say, thanks, Jen. Not anymore. Actually, the reply column is now going to get a lot more attention. Facebook wants to see us replying to each other. So use the reply line. And here's another little tip. If you use emojis in the replies or if your audience does, that will, in the reply, it will boost your audience. Don't ask me why. Facebook can change the algorithm again in a month, by the way. So nothing I say today, 
Do, nothing is like set in stone. Know that these algorithms can change all the time. But right this minute, that's the latest thing I heard is that emojis in the reply box. Also, you want to try to get replies in the first couple of minutes and Facebook will boost your audience. So find yourself a C pod. What is a C pod? C stands for comment. So like Jen and I do this, she'll send me a note real quick and say C. And I know that means I need to comment. So I go to her page, I find her most recent post and I'll throw a comment. And now my new thing is I'm gonna throw an emoji in there too. It's just like a, hey girl, whatever, right? Just help her boost that post. Now what I wanna start on our team are C pods of about five people, right? And in our C pod, let's say it was Gretchen, Hillary, me, Emily, and say Natasha, right? The five of us would be in a C pod. Every time we do a post, throw a C. If you have time to comment, go comment on that person's post. If you don't, ignore it, that's fine. We don't need to change our life um, and make these things like, a, oh my God, if I don't go comment, that's fine if you don't, but whoever can get to it, go and comment. So let's help build each other's pages. If you're scrolling your feed, don't do too much scrolling, but let's say you're scrolling and you run across a fellow coach, throw them a comment, guys, okay? Because if, if Facebook sees that we are getting interaction, they're gonna boost your post in front of more people. These are all free ways to build your audience. Okay, how to craft your right hook from the heart. You've got to be real and raw, and your goal should not be, I just wanna sell something. It's I want to share my story and be honest, and I want to attract people like me, and I actually want to push people away who are not like me. I don't care if I lose those people, they are not meant for me. And I did a post right before we started this call, and it was a post that I did in our coach sneak peek about income a while back, about a week ago. And I had a couple of you reach out and say, you've got to do that post. And I was like, I'm too scared, I'm too nervous. And then I finally realized like, so what? So a couple of me people might be turned off by it. They're not my people. But what if I can attract one person who is my people? It is worth it, okay? So your right hook post, as long as you're not purposely disrespecting anybody or disrespecting yourself, be honest and real and raw, okay? Don't worry about the people who are not going to love your vibe or love you. They're not your people, all right? Remember that. Read it out loud. Ask yourself, would I say this to a friend, right? Would I, is this something I would say to a friend? Because if you read it out loud and it feels really like, rigid and it feels like it was, you know, typed up um, like an essay and not like you're speaking to someone, you do want to add a little bit more feel to it. Your dabs don't have to be beach body related, right? But they should create um, some type of value that will lead to that ultimate goal, okay? That we're going to be talking to someone about helping them with the things that we can help them with, whether it's coaching or fitness. Okay, some social media do's. Post with intention. Know your audience is prime time. In the past, I had given you guys prime time, but I've realized that we all have different prime times. It really depends on your audience. Is your audience a corporate audience? Are they stay-at-home moms? Do they work for themselves? So just know your own audience and what their ideal times are and try to post around those hours. Post at least once a day. That used to say two to three times a day. Guys, post at least once a day. If you can be consistent with once a day and you can pull that off for 60 days straight, challenge yourself to do twice a day every now and then. But what you don't wanna do is post three times a day for three weeks and then not post again for another month because inconsistency will kill your business. Start with one post a day, every single day. If you nail that, maybe pick two days out of the week where you do two posts. Do respond to all comments on your posts in the reply line. Do use pictures about 85% of the time and make sure your pictures are clean and there's a nice background and it doesn't look like, you know, make it appealing to the eye, all right? Um, oh, this is a tricky one, but this is gonna get a ton more attention and that's going live. It's a big deal right now and it's becoming a bigger and bigger deal as all these new algorithms come up. Um, going live one to two times per week. I'm gonna put it out there that I'm gonna start doing that. That's going to be important. Now, going live, the best topics to go live about are helpful topics. So not just talking about what's going on in your life, but actually giving tips or advice. 
and it doesn't have to be fitness related. I saw a coach the other day go live and her entire topic was about how to take care of your finances. It was really cool. So it could be something maybe that you're really good at that has nothing to do with fitness. But if you're going to go live, first of all, tell people you're going to go live earlier in the day. And then you can pick different topics, but one of them, really the ones that tend to do best are topics um, where you're providing a, maybe a checklist or support or tips or help for someone, all right? Um, always offer free tips, free recipes. If, let's say you have back pain and you learn some really good exercises that help with back pain. Share those on your Facebook. All that stuff I think we know about. Make friends. I want to talk about this, you guys. Um, Kristen, how many friends did you have when you first became a beach body coach? Oops. Not in real life, but on Facebook. Um, I think when I started as a coach, I was around 350 friends. What about today? And that was in February of 2017. And today I am currently at 1350. <laughs> That's crazy. So, yeah. Um, how many of your how much of your business comes from people that you connected with in the last year that you weren't connected to when you started? Oh, like 85%. That's insane. For sure. Guys. Yeah. Um, for those of you that say, I don't have a market, I don't have a, some people start with a stronger, warm market. It, we cannot change where we start. Like that is not, coaches start at all different levels with your market. But for those of you that don't have a, maybe a warm market or you don't even want to go after your warm market, like that's proof right there. 85% of her business is coming from the people she added. And those are adding mutual friends, um, joining maybe groups, right? So groups that have similar interests. Like my big thing right now is I'm in a Peloton group. And I will tell you those Peloton folks love their nutrition, but they don't have anything to follow. Um, and they realize they need more than Peloton. And so that's been kind of my thing. But that's, there's so many different groups out there. There's running groups, there's mommy groups. Find something that you are passionate about. Don't just, if you join a group you're not passionate about, like I joined a cat group and I love my cats, but I really could care less about like seeing pictures of cats. And so when I first heard about joining groups, that was like one of the groups I joined and it was a total waste for me because I really don't want to sit there talking to cat people all day long. But I love my Peloton group because it is something that, you know, that I actually care about. So join a group. But mutual friends really is the way to go. Um, and you can't stop. Like every time I talk to Kristen, she's like, I just added 20 more friends. Don't add more than 20 in a day or Facebook could put you in Facebook jail. You don't want that to happen. Uh-oh. Social media don'ts. Can you guys see that ad on the right? Is it partially covered? That's an It Works Facebook post that I took down from someone. Um, it's got like, it just looks like a really cheesy advertisement. Let's be honest. Like it just, uh, it says it works on the top. It's got like, you know, all this distributor information. Don't do that. Don't link, don't post links to your Beachbody site. Don't post prices of products. In the past, we didn't do it because it annoys people. Now you shouldn't do it because I'm telling you, not just annoys people, but Facebook is going, your post is not going to show up. Like nobody's going to see it because those are the things that Facebook's going to start looking for. Okay. Don't give up after a few posts. If you're not getting traction, you probably need to build your market and you probably need to start reaching out to other people. If you are not looking at your friends list and commenting on other people's pages and talking to them and building relationships, why would anyone talk to you, you guys? You have to remember that. It's a two-way street. So if you, especially if it's a cold market, you have to remember you've got to put some love out there if you want to get it back. So comment on other people, um, encourage other people if they're starting new endeavors, if they're starting diets. Like, I don't care if you're not on my diet plan or my program. If you're going to do something, I'm going to cheer you on, okay? So talk to other people. Don't just comment on your close friends posts. That's the worst thing you can do because they're already going to see your posts and don't just comment on ours. You guys have to go outside of that and look at your friends that you haven't talked to, right? Or maybe strangers you've added, go to their page, find a post and comment. Did you know if they reply to your comment? So I'll go on a random person's page that I'm connected to. And let's say they have a picture of their dog and I'll say, Oh my gosh, how old is your dog? Let's say they respond to me. Facebook immediately says, 
you two must like each other. We're going to put your posts in front of each other. Try this. I've done this before and no joke, the next day I'll do a post and that person's commenting on my post because Facebook put my post in front of them. Don't post pics of just like 21 day fix or Shakeology. I mean, every now and then it's fine, but you do too much of that and people are going to start getting annoyed. If you are going to talk about Shakeology, talk about the benefits, not just Shakeology. Maybe talk about your skin or talk about your energy. Make that the focus. All right. This is going to be fun. So unmute your lines. This was on my page today. This gal that I'm connected to, I do not know her at all. Okay. She put trying to detox from caffeine and it's not fun. Any tips? I would only drink one to two cups of coffee in the morning and one diet Coke or Pepsi in the afternoon. And now I have a killer headache and no energy. What would you guys say to her? She posted this on her Facebook page. Well, the first thing that pops in my head is energize. <laughs> yeah. What would you say to her? I would say, oh my God. I can't believe you're doing that. Big props to you because I could never give up caffeine. I love it. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know we're all thinking energized, right? Right? But that's yeah. What you say. Yeah. Okay. What else? What else would you guys say? I, I, could, I don't know. Like, I have the perfect solution for you. Okay. I, I don't yeah. know. There's, okay. So, first of all, I don't want to put anyone on the spot here because all those things went into my brain. Okay. I was like, that's what I want to say. I want to say all of these things. And then I fought the urge, right? Because she doesn't know me. Remember, that's the key, you guys. She doesn't know me from Adam. Now, if my mother-in-law posted this, you can bet I'll be on, her, on my cell phone or even my girlfriend. Uh, hello, do you know what I do? All right, where are you at? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to totally hook you up. This is a stranger that I've never talked to before, but we're connected. Okay, so... What I did say was, I'm not a fan of soda, but why are you cutting the coffee out? I'm just curious. Coffee itself isn't really bad, blah, blah, blah. And I do love La Croix, as someone suggested. She immediately responds to me. And I was like, oh, I've got it. I hope your headaches subside soon. And she put, thanks. I laid down for a bit and I ate something. It's better now. Done. We had a combo, right? Would you guys agree we're like building a relationship? That's the very first step. Okay, now I, want, <laughs> I have to show you guys what this gal did. So this gal messages and she says, thrive. And then she goes, message me your address. I'll send you a sample. And then down here, she goes, here's the website. If you'd like to read into it, I promise you, you will not need caffeine. Now, Hey, this product might be the best there is. Like, I don't know. I checked back one more time before I got on this call with you guys. The girl that posted this has not liked or commented on any of these. She didn't even, it's like, she totally ignored all three of them. Okay. Um, there's another person that commented up on top who commented with plexus. She ignored it. If your goal is to sell something and you do, and you respond like this, you may get someone to buy from you every now and then. But if you go with the route of building a relationship, people will, she responded to me, but she doesn't know me. Now, where do I take this? I just keep building relationships, right? Like I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'll probably do a post about energy. I'm not going to do it tomorrow because that's a little sneaky. I'll probably do one in a few days. I know she's going to see it because Facebook has now linked us. We've had a conversation. Okay. Um, so Facebook has linked us. I know she'll see it. I'm also going to write her name down. Okay. She's going to go on. I do these like 21 names, right? Um, she, I'm just going to put her name down on one of those because I'm going to keep an eye on this girl. She, let me, let me explain why I'm going to keep an eye on her. She's making changes to her diet. She wants to cut out diet Coke. There's more to this story. There's more to this story. Okay. It's not just about energy and caffeine. Like she's choosing to make a change. So I'm going to keep an eye out on her and I'll do a post and let's see if she comments on me. And in about a week or so, if I don't get any traction on her end, I will send her a PM. I will private message her. Like, I'm not going to let this go, but I'm going to go about it a little bit better. Does that make sense? So that's what you guys want to think about. Um, don't make selling a product your first goal. Make, I just want her to recognize I'm a human being and not ignore me. Okay. I think that's it for this part. And then I'm going to stop sharing. All right, you guys, um, just a couple more things and then I'm going to open this up for questions. 
Okay, um, we talked a lot about building relationships and I can talk more about it if you guys have questions for me. We talked about using the reply line. We talked about a C pod. If you guys want to be part of a C pod, let's just post on team inspired afterwards. And it really could, doesn't matter who's in your C pod. Like just pick five, any five people on our team, right? Like it really doesn't matter. Um, so create those C pods. However, don't join the C pod if you're not going to be posting because what's the point, right? Like you're never going to have posts. So there's nothing to comment on. That's pretty much it actually. I think I covered all the points I wanted to. Um, I wanna open this up for you guys. I wanna hear back what, maybe something that's working <clears throat> if you wanna share, uh, maybe something you learned today. When it comes to Facebook, I also just wanna end on one thing. The rules change a lot. So what we do today could be 100% wrong tomorrow. And that's why the word wrong, I'm just gonna totally take out of our vocabulary. We have to be really coachable and humble. Um, I've broken every single Facebook rule there is out there. Um, and I've broken it after the algorithms changed and before the algorithms changed. And you just have to be very fluid um, when it comes to social media because the rules constantly change, all right? And it is very hard to keep up with. So don't get stuck in a place where you feel like I'm not doing anything right or this is so challenging or you feel like your posts are lousy or, you know, don't beat yourself up about it, you guys, um, because you could be doing something today that all of a sudden tomorrow Facebook is going to say, we love it. You're going to get boosted to the top. So just understand it and be very open to feedback. On Facebook. Um, one of the coaches on this team and I, every week we decided we're going to look at each, scan each other's Facebook and just give each other feedback. Because sometimes when you do a quick scan, you have things that are different than when you post every day. Um, so that was actually Stacy and I, it was her idea. And we decided that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick scan and just give each other feedback. And sometimes that feedback can be hard to hear because you put all of your passion into building these posts and then you get feedback that's like, well, that didn't really come across that way. Please, um, if you want to get better at this, be okay with that. All right, you guys, let me hear from you. Do you think my like page is a waste of time? Okay, that's a really good question. Um, <laughs> Todd just walked by the door and grabbed his ass, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he just did 80 day. Okay, um, what's, your, what's your current um, following on your like page right now? Um, I think I have like a, hold on. Do you, I mean, do you get a lot of traction on it? I have 145 likes. Um, from certain people, I mean, if I share it to my personal page, yes. If not, not too much. I mean, I, here's, here's my thought on it. If you're going to invest money into advertising, you're going to boost your like page. Um, like page posts are going to be seen even less than personal posts unless you already have an audience built up. Um, I have a like page as well. I, the number of likes doesn't matter. I think I like have 800 and something, right? Like it does, I, but I don't get any traction on it at all. Like I could do a post on there. Now there are, there is a strategy for spending money on a like page. Um, and to be honest with you, Ashley, are you online? Ashley, you on the line? Yeah. You want to give your opinion on that? Because I know you know the, the ins and outs of this stuff a lot better than um, most of us do. Well, I mean, so you can, you can pay for um, ads and you can build it that way. It, you have to be consistent with spending the money just like you are consistently posting. Um, <laughs> Because really you, you have to, and you really have to look into it because like there's ways that you can, people you can target to get outside your market and then posts that you're going to want to retarget to people that have watched certain videos. So it, it takes a lot of work if you're going to spend money because you can, you can do quite a bit with like $10, $20 um, a, a week. And you can, you can build, it's going to build slower, um, but it's, you have to be able to consistently spend that money and also know that it's going to take a while for it to, because you're, first you're going to build new followers and then you're going to get them to engage in stuff and then you're going to present them with a right hook and, and you're going to target maybe a certain number of those people who have watched and looked at 
other stuff. So it's, it's, and it's always changing just like the algorithm and it's really complicated. And that's why there's literally businesses that run a lot of people's ads. So I don't plan on spending much money on it. So I'm thinking maybe just move it all over to my personal page. Cause if not, yeah. I'm just sharing it from my like page to my personal page and I don't know if that's going to get shown or if that's going to I think gonna that's going to hurt your, as far as I know, sharing to a page actually could hurt you. Is that still correct, Ashley? Well, uh, no, not sharing to a, pa to a page. Honestly, I feel like unless you have, like, enough money that you can spend, like, enough, like, a, quite a bit, it's not, it's not worth it to really invest in the like page unless you have something that goes viral. If you can get something to go viral, then... Yeah, that's going to help you. <laughs> the other thing is too, Jess, for you and for most of us, I don't think we've tapped out on our, on our personal page yet, right? And I don't just mean your friends, right? You've got friends. You can have 5,000 followers on your Facebook page. Friends, I mean, on your personal page. And that market is a lot easier than your like page. If you can max out your Facebook, right? Like where you're at 5,000 followers, you have now you're making a ton of money in Beachbody and you want to invest back or who knows by that time, like maybe be something else to invest into. That's a strategy, but I would not start with a like page. The other thing about Facebook that I've noticed, um, I do a lot of stories and I've done them really consistently. And honestly, I get way more engagement in my inbox through Facebook stories. Cause now if you post through the main Facebook app, at least on Android, it posts to both messenger and to Facebook. And so I, I mean, I'm, I can see that I get about a hundred people of my friends viewing and I get to see who's viewing it and I get to see who's viewing like a certain three uh, page story all the way to the end and has finished the story with me. And I can reach out to those people because oh, they I didn't, didn't click away that. after. Yeah. So I, I've been doing that. And I actually, for a lot of my things, I get people message me like, Oh, that's so awesome. Like people just doing the quick hearts and, and like, smiley faces and stuff like that and then I can just start talking to them so it actually gets people in my inbox um so I feel like and, and that's not an algorithm well it kind of is it, it all depends on your order is, is based off of how many times you that person watches your stories and how consistently um but that's not as big of an algorithm as a post oh, it makes me so anxious to think about going live well, that's not even going live. That's just story. You can just, you can record it. You can put, you can do it a million times until you like it. It's not the live feature. Oh. It's, it, it's, it's just putting a story. It doesn't have to be a video. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's a really good question though about the like page. Um, what else you guys, I want to, any, just hit me. I'm going to comment on the last thing you covered where that girl put up that she needed advice. Cause I just went through this myself. And it was so funny because I got like those similar things. So just from like my experience, I had posted about insomnia and yeah. who knew to bring like, you know, a hundred comments and like 50 messages, which is awesome. But I can tell you that I had so many of those annoying people on my post that were like, Plexus, thrive. <laughs> and you can guarantee that they did not get any response. But then it was the people that are like, what have you tried so far? Like they were like asking me or, you know, or try this or try that, but you could tell clearly it was from a place of caring. And even if they were um, talking about their product, it was kind of like the way they worded it. it wasn't like, you just need this. Here's my website. And I also had people message me, no joke. It was like, Plexus, 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 here's my website. I wouldn't respond right away. And they were like, have you tried it before? And then I'm like, yes, it doesn't work. Well, have you tried this? I'm like, it doesn't work. And I, no joke. I was so overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, so I a hundred percent agree. Like in, I've been guilty too. Like I'll see a post of someone and I'm sure the first thing that I've thought of, you know, like, have you tried energize, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. but it's good to, um, have that front of mind. And then I definitely agree with stories. And then also going live was super nerve wracking for me at first, but now that I've done it and like, I, I practiced it in Instagram. I don't know why it felt easier. Maybe because I have a little less friends, but I still have a lot there, but I don't know. It just felt like less were watching. <laughs> so like I practiced in there to like kind of just gain my confidence in going live. And now I'm like, I love going live. So I think it's like, 
it's weird. It's something that you'll be afraid of for so long. And then you do it and you're like, oh, this is actually kind of fun because I think you have to think about sharing. You're not going on there to like, I don't go on there to sell challenge packs or it's nothing sales. It's like, let me think about what my favorite things are and let me share with other people some of the tips that I can, you know, help them with. And I think when you're helping them, it's a lot less. Anyway, that's just my experience about going live. There you go. Um, yeah, guys, with going live, like with what Jen said too, it, it doesn't get, you're not going to wake up one day and be like, oh my God, I feel ready to go live. This is going to be awesome. You just have to do it. And it just, it, it's like a muscle. Like you're only going to get better if you keep working it. Um, Anthony, I can see. All right. You are unmuted. I was just going to share with, uh, today I did a bunch of my food prep, uh, posts on, uh, Instagram mm -hmm. and I was laughing really hard because I was just doing all my just different prep and all my stuff. But today I got a notification that one of my pictures was 91% more popular than every other picture I have. And it was the stupid picture of cooked Brussels sprouts. <laughs> so you never know what's going to like get people to like, look, but I was like, why is everybody clicking on the silly Brussels sprouts? But I just want to share that because I thought that was hilarious today. People do love food though. I'll tell you guys, like if you run out of things to post, share what you're eating. People want to know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what else? You guys feel like you gained something today? Do you feel like um, you have a better clear idea of how you want your social media um, to look like and what you want to accomplish from it? How about building relationships? When I say that, does that scare you guys or does that sound like something you feel like you can actually do? It takes time. Um, I think my thing is I get nervous, like, friending people that I don't really know. God, I'm I like, are they going to think I'm this weirdo? Because the I people I know are, I'll tell you guys, let me look at how many of you I knew before Beachbody won. Like, you, got, you have got to get past it. Um, and, and also realizing that these relationships take a lot of time. Like, this... Uh, Gal, I remember in June when I posted about my first miscarriage, um, there were a lot of people that reached out to me privately. And this one girl reached out to me and she was pregnant at the time, but she was going through some stuff. And she's like, hey, I saw your post. Like, can you tell me what signs you had? Because I'm really getting nervous. Well, she ends up being okay. But I will tell you guys, I checked on this girl and I genuinely had zero desire to sell her. I, I was worried. Like the whole time I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? Like, I do not know her. When her baby was born, I think I was as happy as she was. Like, I am not kidding. Like, we're, I've never met her in person. We just talked about, like, meeting for the first time. So I'm like, so when I posted that I was pregnant, she was the first one that, like, private messaged me. And she's like, I'm crying. I'm so happy for you. Like, I was a part of that journey for her. And she's been a part of, like, you know, we just stayed in touch. Well, just the, and I never once invited her to a challenge, you guys. Like, this, our, the relationship went way deeper than Beachbody. Like, I have to say, it really did. Um, well, she commented on my post the other day. It wasn't even a challenge post. It was the post that said, if you need to get into my challenge, I'm out of the office. So contact so-and-so she commented and she said, I need to get in here. I just got cleared to working out. That's what I mean by relationships. Like it's, you've got to be genuine and it's got to be bigger than just beach body. You've got to connect with people that you actually feel like I like this person, whether they ever do business with me or not. And if you can't get to that point, like if you're just like, well, I'm just not a people person, I, I don't know if you're in the right business. Like you have to kind of like helping people and talking to people and just building a relationship. And I think that is every single person here because I have a relationship with you guys, right? Like you might think you're shy or, but it doesn't matter. You are capable because I'll tell you, I have a relationship with every one of you on this call. But you've got to be able to give that to other people and not have the agenda be to sell when you're building relationships. The sales will follow. There's been people I've built relationships with and they end up referring me to someone else and they never, ever join me. Like, it's just not, you know, but I still am like, that's a really cool person and I'm really glad I met them. And this is literally for strangers when I say this. I'm not talking about you know, friends that you had in the past or like, those are totally different and you can reach out and have completely easier, di different conversations, but you've got to grow your market past your immediate friends 
unless a couple of you I know who have like 3,000 friends to start. So <laughs> Jen's laughing because she knows I'm talking about her. <laughs> but a lot of us don't start with a market, right? Like, so I was like 200 and something friends when I started. So go out there, talk to people, relate to people, get to know people. And it makes it so much more fun. Like when someone, I feel like I built a relationship wants my help, I enjoy helping them. It doesn't feel like I'm selling. Yeah? All right. Hit me. What else, guys? Let's finish on a strong note. What's going to be our final focus for tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday. One of the reasons with that Tuesday was such a good time for a call is tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday's the start of a new week. So where are you going to be when you wake up Thursday morning in your business? I don't care if it's successful or something else. Just tell me a win that you're going to have tomorrow. What's it going to be? Wait, 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 Jen, Jen, I can't hear you. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, that, now I'll change my goal. Um, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking in my head of where I'm at right now. I, um, by tomorrow, I'll definitely be at SC15. Um, and then I really like that I've been focusing like a week at a time on PB. So I actually don't know exactly where it is right now because of um, a girl just joined. So I have to double check that, but it was a thousand for the week was my goal. Love it. And if you don't, if you haven't done the PV talk, we can always do that another day too. Uh, Kristen, before you leave, what's your goal tomorrow? What's your goal tomorrow? Don't go. Darn it. I was hoping to leave before yeah. that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what's your goal? Um, <laughs> goal. I'm going to be, I'm at zero right now. So I'm really <laughs> bummed about that, but I, it doesn't matter. Well, I, I want to hit SC. You know that's really important to me. So yeah, I, I want to hit SC tomorrow. tomorrow. What's that? What's the number? What, what is it then if it is SC? What is it? Six. All right. Holding you to it. Can I get my three peeps? I love it. All right. Okay. Bye, ladies. Tomorrow. My goal for tomorrow is to send 10 invites. I love it. Good. Okay. Will you message me at the end of the day, Jess, and tell me how you did? Okay, next. Mine is SC6. I need to, I'm struggling this month, but I need to help two more people All right. by Thursday. Hey, I love it. You put it out there. Who's next? I, I'm not calling anyone. If you don't want to share, you don't have to share. But I can see um, you ignoring me. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm going to add three new friends on Facebook. I love it. Good. Three, no, no, no. I want you to add three strangers, Gretchen. Mm -hmm. Well, that you, yeah, that's what I, I mean. I know. <laughs> strangers. <laughs> okay. I like that. Good. Who else? All right, I'll go. I am going to sign a coach <laughs> by that? Thursday. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I'm going to sign my first coach by Thursday. I'm actually speaking to this random girl that messaged me from Alabama. Um, I don't even know her, and we've just been talking the past week, So, and she's really interested in coaching. So, hey, That is yeah. such a cool story. Yeah. Okay. I love that. All right. Who else? Anybody else? I want to sell a challenge pack. Okay. I love it. Good. All right, um, I haven't done mine yet. I am going to send uh, 20 coach invites tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, that's my goal tomorrow. I will send 20 coach invites tomorrow because I did a coach post, so following up with those invites tomorrow. All right, you guys, um, have a fabulous evening. Thank you for hopping on. If you have any questions, I will be posting the link and you guys can just post any questions later on. And then let's create those pods and help each other grow our following. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.